Cisco Stealth Watch Enterprise 7.x Web UI perform, performing flow search, but specifically around encrypted traffic analytics. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to analyze and we're going to do a flow search. Now think about your environment. How do you know if you have systems within your DMZ or even in your data center that are following crypto compliance, right? How difficult is it to ensure that they're um, meeting the minimum requirements? So StealthWatch certainly can help be able to run uh, reports very quickly to determine what protocols are in play and then address the ones that might not meet your security posture. So from here, from that flow query, right, there's a bunch of default settings. We're gonna really focus on end user devices. And you can see we're doing the last five minutes. And you can, from here, you could do advanced search. Look at that, port, user, bytes, packets, uh, MAC address, file, hash, process name, right, and so on. Advanced connections, you can do it based on all bi-directional, unidirectional, and you can see, you can do it based on a get, on the payload itself, the round trip time. And then you have advanced peer options. We're not gonna change anything on the advanced side at this point, right, any of the settings. We're gonna run the search. And remember, right, you're doing a query, right? So it takes a, a few seconds for the query to complete. And now that it's complete, it'll start to render the information, right? The results itself. Now by default, you wouldn't see these encryption fields. You'd have to actually manage columns. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but I've already done that, okay? So you can see it's, it's fairly empty at this point. So you would go in here, you'd manage columns. And you can see I, I selected the encryption elements. Now you can see all the different attributes here, subject, peer, and general. So I've talked about this in previous videos, but um, lots of different ways to parse the data. Now we still want some better insight into what's going on. So let's edit this search. And so what I wanted to show you, if you do a blanket query, right, you're gonna get a lot of information. As you start adding uh, parameters to your search, um, obviously it's gonna be a little more focused. So we're gonna change the time range to eight hours. And then from here, we can see that the, it's starting to fill out, but what we'll do here is we'll also look for 443 slash TCP. So we've got uh, our elements, all we've changed was eight hours and the 443, we run our search and it's gonna take a few seconds um, to render the results. And now we're going back further, right? Before it was just five minutes worth of data, right? Now we're going back eight hours. So we want the last eight hours and we're starting now to see some data. And you can see the applications now is showing up as HTTPS. We're still only 4% complete at this point. There's 54% and it'll finish within a second or so. Um, and we can start now drilling into some of the data points. So we're still not seeing anything here around encryption. So let's run um, TLS here and let's see what comes up at that point, right? So we're gonna filter a little bit further here and the results start to show. So now we can see, you know, TLS 1.2, um, all the different uh, algorithms that are in play, right? SHA-256, AES, so all good stuff. We can see TLS 1.2, and, and you know what? That's probably pretty good. If Whether that's going to the internet or into your DMZ, um, and you can be fairly granular here too. Um, that's all good, right? Because TLS 1.2 is a standard that's accepted in, in, in most organizations. TLS 1.3 is just starting to roll out. Let's look for 1.0. Now look at this, right? Now we've got, what, six, I think, uh, communication channels using TLS 1.0. So from here, what I can do is I can export this data, the visible columns, into a spreadsheet and 
I could share this with uh, teams uh, to let them know that they're in violation of the policy, right? If the policy dictates that you have to be at TLS 1.2 and whatever the encryption algorithms might be, I could capture the peer IP address, right? Give it a quick color. Um, you can see the host groups in the DMZ server in this case. And maybe we highlight what the issue is, right? So pretty easy, right? You can run this, you can run compliance reports, um, but pretty cool stuff, right? Encrypted traffic analytics, this is really focusing on compliance, um, but we did that all within a few minutes.